Fascinating. So the sharpness post-process material is available to download in the show notes, but we'll see how that's set up uh, and the component parts that come in that download. Um, it works quite well because it's giving an overall effect at sharpening up the image. I'm kind of exaggerating it here with the values on the slider, but um, it's very effective at sort of low numbers um, and works particularly well in VR actually. So there's a few things to do once you've downloaded the sharpened post-process material. So I'll just run through what we need to tweak to implement it. So you'll have your post-process sharpened actor. First, you need to make sure that that is in the world. If we click into that, now under your post-process component and under render features, you have to make sure you've got post-process material and connect PP sharpen material instance. Compile and save that. Now, if we click through on that, we'll see that the parent has not, the connection to the parent has been lost because it's just grayed out. So if we click on that and make sure the parent is connected, PP, Save that, and then we'll go to the parent, master rather, master material, and you just need to relink the sharpness material parameter collection node. So just to remind you, you can do that by dragging in the demo. node and making sure you've got sharpness set just because I'm driving it from a material parameter collection um, you can set that to a fixed value but because I have added in a slider on the widget which on value change is updating setting that scalar parameter of sharpness um, it just means that I've got greater control. Now, one thing just to remind you is that you can set the scale of that slider here. So I've kind of created <laughs> a slightly exa exaggeration to be able to demonstrate that that's now all connected. And looking in our world, if I increase the sharpness, you see a thousand's way too much, but you can kind of see what it's doing. It's, it's a bit trippy. It's quite amazing, actually. Um, but that's all recalculating on a per pixel basis in real time. So um, obviously the more subtle, the more control you have. So we can of course make the effect a lot more subtle. So rather than a thousand, if we say 20 on that scale, and then let's relaunch it. And now we've got much more subtle control. So looking at the clouds at the bottom there, we're kind of sharpening up where they're in focus. So yeah, that's then affects your whole world based on that sharpness setting. So have a play with those and um, hope that was helpful. Live long and prosper.